Now, before we talk about Indian economy, let's have a look about a look uh, on the world economy. Let's talk about the world economy. Now, this is the way you look at a world map. It is divided into continents. There's Russia, then there is America, seven continents, and so on. But from the point of view of an economist, this is not how we view the world. So this is from the point of view of an economist. This is how you look at the world from the point of view of an economist. As you can see, there are three different colors. It is green. Some portions are green. Some portion is orange. And some portion is red. Why three parts? The green ones are the first world countries. The green ones are the first one countries. This orange one is the second world country. And the red ones are the third. So even if I don't explain it to you, you understand that the ones who are green in color come first and the ones who are orange are the second ones and the red ones are the third ones. This is it. The first world countries are the one which are the developed countries. They are the rich nations of the world like America, Japan, Australia and New Zealand. We all know they are big economies and they are rich and progressive economies. The second world countries are the ones which are not so rich and not as big as the first world countries but still they are good economies and they are developed economies. And the ones who come the last are the third world economies who are poor economies. And alas, India is a part of it. We are the third world countries. But this was how we viewed it 10 years back. Third world country was considered to be a very derogatory word. It was like, how can we come last in the class? And besides, you cannot compare. They had grouped it as one economy, India and Somalia. How can you compare the two? Somalia is a very poor nation and a small uh, nation, whereas India has a large economy. So you cannot compare the two. So there was further distinction was made. Now, as you can see, they have been divided into four parts. They are advanced economies. And then they are the blue ones, which are in transition, which were like the second world economies. The orange ones are the less developed economies or the developing nations in which India is a part. And the red ones are the least developed countries, the countries of Africa and all. So we are a part of less developed economies. India, countries like India, Pakistan and Southeast Asian countries which are on the path of development or we are called as developing nations. So now we have understood that where we stand in the world economy. We are not the developed countries, we are not that rich but we are developing. We are on the path of transition and we are progressing.